Living with MD has made me appreciate what we have more. So I'm very protective of our time together. <laughs> Life before each other was just a blur now. I can't remember some stuff like the details are getting foggy just because I'm so concentrated on our life together, our past together, the present and the future. The other things are just fading away. It's progressively getting harder and harder to push up. <laughs> I get like nine hours of care a day. So obviously I'm constantly around people. And if I see Tommy during, like, during that time, we can't really like, be our own. No, so it's like with all you uh, weekends together more. Because yeah. it's like, I've kind of taken over a lot of the catering responsibilities the weekend just so we can have mm. time to ourselves. You can't really live like a normal life. Like, if you have like, got to get up at this time, got to have lunch at this time, got to have dinner at this time, bed by this time. Sometimes I am like, how much easier would it be like, if I could just like get myself ready or like, get up and go to the toilet myself, like, it would be like a lot easier, but like, no, I probably don't think about it as much nowadays, and like, a big part of that is like Tommy, but then it's because I did like counselling and realised that it's only like a small part of me. If she needs to get tarried up steps or whatever and it's like yeah. little things that I've kind of gotten used to. Yeah, gotten used to and like always we're always closer than anyone else would be. Yeah. Just different. I think that's how it's worked so easy over a year and worked so fast but it's just, a lot more intimate. Yeah. I've gone from like scared to like touch each other to like not wanting to like be a part. I was scared. You were just so nervous. Having met someone and fallen in love, like anyone else, we wanted the future and especially a family. But we didn't know if it would even be possible. Yes, he was fun. <laughs> <laughs> With any woman who's pregnant, they're risking their lives. With me having an MND, their risk is higher because they don't know how my muscles will react or my uterus and obviously that is something that me and Tommy have talked about and did like discuss in depth before deciding to try for a baby. The fear that he could lose me and that I could lose him like, or like leave him is too high risk to let anyone in the room other than my mom and him because that could be the last time he sees me. Oh. 
I think it'd be the only time I, I see my son. I almost can't do it together. <laughs> But whenever I would imagine us being parents, the rewards just seem to outweigh the risks. Right. That's so weird. So you can see that it's moving beautifully. Yeah. Little hand up at the face there. There's the other hand. Two little hands up at oh the face. Oh my god! You see that? There's a little eye there. He's a baby, you are busy. <laughs> Is that a good sign if it's freely moving a bit? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Oh my god, you can see it. Little bum. <laughs> five one, five one, down to two little knees. Hmm. Oh, my mind's gone today. I was just excited to like have uh, more time to like see him. And find out if he was like, okay. Good. Okay, happy with the heart. The heart looks good. Yay! After seeing like, his organs and his measurements are all like, okay, it makes me a little bit more relaxed. But obviously, I know there's only so much they can see. Your baby looks great today. Okay. Yay! Yay! Seeing her actually sit relaxed and happy, smiling away. That's the best part of it. Yay! Pregnancy is always risky, especially when you're having MND as well. <laughs>